Look at it, very nice. Um, absolutely beautiful. Mm. This is Kapow Moo, that's with pork. Very nice. Kapow Guy is with chicken. Did you know that? Everything's happening. This is actually the local pub there, see that? The guy sells um, oh, Thai whiskey and so forth, it's pretty dangerous stuff actually. But the problem is he uh, doesn't make much money because he drinks it all. He honestly drinks the profit. He's not there today, I could be there under the table somewhere. Every time I see him go past, he's blind drunk. <laughs> oh well. Video okay? Okay. Yes? Okay. Is this one? Okay. Good. The Thais just have their food along the side of the road here. Yeah, just on the road they eat, actually. They buy their food from the street, food carts, and uh, sit on the side of the road here and eat it. Amazing, isn't it? I've often driven past and shook my head at him and thought, oh, I don't know about that. Whoa. Here we go. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's, um, uh, it's just a typical way it is in Thailand. You get these little carts along here, or I don't know what they call them, carts or um, little noodle bars. There's just hundreds of them, thousands of them. All over Bangkok and you you know, uh, like I just had before, normally it's 45 baht, I ordered extra, so 45 baht and, and you can get yourself a meal. I think I filmed that going up there and having the noodles before, uh, one ton noodles. It's just so cheap, I mean, it's just not worth cooking. So a lot of Thais, they just go to places like these. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of foreigners come over and say, um, you know, um, I wouldn't eat off him, I wouldn't eat off him. Well, give it a go. Seriously. Uh, in my country, they have to keep food for so long and um, it's expensive. And they you know, keep it over the time limit. You don't know that. And uh, their food's not fresh. But here, the, the food's moving all the time, you know. And Thailand isn't into freezing things, really. So it comes from the market, goes to big supermarkets like uh, Macro or whatever. Big C, you probably know if you've been here before. And the food's just moving all the time, so they don't need to freeze it. They do freeze a little bit, of course. But in my country runs off freezers. Everything's frozen. Um, oh, There's just some horrific stories. They freeze everything, you know. You think you're getting this year's, um, you think you're getting this year's uh, seasonal fruit. Well, it's not as three years old, some of it. They just freeze everything. Time doesn't work that way. They don't work off freezers. Like I said before, to a certain extent they do. But everything's from the farm straight to the um, uh, distributor, and then, then the, these shopkeepers or whatever you want to call them, they go and pick it up, you know, straight away, and sell it, and it's gone, and go back the next day, and they shop every day. So things are usually fresh off these things, and if you see a lot of people hanging around these stalls, it means it's good food. You can pay, you know, 35, 45, 50 baht for a meal, no problem. But up to yourself, go and get some McDonald's if you're not happy. That was Kapow Moo, okay? Now, it was 45 baht. If you order that in a restaurant, you'll pay, um, oh, you'd pay probably 90 to 100 baht. It's nearly twice the price. Um, there's nothing wrong with these places, seriously. But then again, you've got to be careful. I don't um, really go for um, uh, chicken off these these places, um, you know the fried chicken and stuff. I don't I don't really trust it because um, there's lots of nasties in in chicken and um, if it's not completely in 100% fresh, you know the salmonella, salmonella poisoning. I think they call it. So I don't really buy the chicken. And um, 
I don't think I've ever bought a um, you know fried chicken here like like Kentucky fried chicken type chicken. But, uh, I, I buy it from over there. He's he's pretty good. But, uh, you know it's probably okay, but I, I don't want to risk it. You know you can really get sick from chicken. It's not cooked properly. But then again, you go past some of these places and they're barbecuing. You know they're barbecuing the chicken or the pork. Um, that's the best way to do it if you really need some. Make sure they're cooking it in front of you on the stick. Are you doing it on the stick? I've seen that one. The uh, ch chicken and the pork on the stick. It's, it's quite nice. Give that a go. It's nice. But don't be scared to eat off these. They're okay. i got my little seat here, as you can see. I sit here sometimes by myself. It's sad, isn't it? Yeah, they're not friends. No friends at all. Yeah. Uh, Name? Kalpat. What? Kalpat. What? Kalpat. Kalpat. Yeah. Tisan, yeah? Mm. Yeah. It's Kalpat. Say Kalpat. Kalpat from Isan. The food. Yeah. What's your name? Bang. Bang. Yeah. Bang. I've just I've just ordered two of those to take away. I'm take them home and get one for Mal's. Mel's mother and me and Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> talking, eh? <laughs> there you go. Picking up some fried rice. It's really good. I tasted some before, it was uh, beautiful. The lady gave me a little taste. Can't remember her name, but just she just told me. Oh, and now for the herbs and spices. No sugar. How much is one mug? Yes. How much? Uh, 25 baht. 25 baht for that. Uh, 35 baht. 35 baht. Yeah. 35 baht. 35 baht. 35 baht. It's, it's really, uh, I was saying before, it's, it's really not worth to, um, uh, sometimes it's not worth to cook for two people. Okay. He's on seafood. Uh, soup, sorry. <laughs> Chicken. Nut used to work in a very big restaurant. Yeah, she likes it better here, she reckons. Bamboo, I think. No, 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 uh, lemongrass. Lemongrass, sorry. There you go. Cap out lime leaves. What name is this one? Name. ไม่มาคุยไม่มาคุยไม่มาคุยไม่มาคุยไม่มาคุยไม่มาคุยไม่มาคุยไม่มาคุยไม่มาคุยไม่มาคุยไม่มาคุยไม่มาคุยไม่
Tom Yum Guy. So that Tom Yum Guy. Tom Yum Guy. Say it again. Tom Yum Guy. Tom Yum Guy. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> What's the name of that one? Yes. Yeah. Good name. Pak Chi. Pak Chi. Pak Chi. Yes. <laughs> so have you got that Pak Chi? I'll tell you what, it smells beautiful when she's cooking it. We really smells. Wish they had smell a vision. Put your nose up close to the monitor and you can smell it. Seriously. Put it up close. Mm. I try, seriously. It was pretty funny. Come on, it was. Come on, it was pretty funny. With Thai cooking and Chinese cooking, I guess, I don't know. It's very, very fast. Um, it's quick cooking. That's what makes it so delicious. They just give it a real good, fast cook. It's making it pop out of Oh, you know, you, you come to these places, you need some good in there, you know? What's this one? Carnation milk? Yes. Show me. Carnation milk. There you go. That's it. Bag with you. Bag with you. Ready to go. Take it home. Put it in a bowl. Put it in the microwave if you like. Very involved. I'll head home now. Look at all this stuff. Yeah, well, that's uh. Ah, oh, just a typical uh, street food. Yeah, not too bad, is it? Really? If you want to save yourself a few dollars, uh, uh, get into the street food.